In order to find out how you reduce the radiation, you need to calculate the coordinates of the place where the captain's bridge crashed into the liner. Breath Edge Agency coffins can help us with this. However, we still need to find an engineering shuttle, or even better, the engineer himself. There's an engineering shuttle ahead. I wonder how you find everything so quickly. Is it because of my hints? Looks like he was shaving with a chainsaw during the crash. I can find no other explanation for such damage to a spacesuit. We need one that is in good condition, or at least other parts of this one. I'd recommend exploring the area. Looks like there's nothing here. Examine some other debris. Looks like there's nothing here. Examine some other debris. All the interior was torn out by depressurization. What a strange place. But maybe we can find something useful here. The durability of the engineering mod. This is it. I wasn't sure if the engineer's legs remained intact, but we were lucky. Unfortunately, due to the security protocol, I cannot tell you that the special magnets built into his engineering boots can be used to illegally open the back panel of Breath Edge coffins. Not the most useful. Unfortunately, this isn't what we're looking for. A witty toy with a non-witty name. The developers are clearly 13 years old. You probably need some explanation about this. I have no right to inform you that Breath Edge Agency coffins exchange information with each other concerning obstacles flying by in order to avoid collisions in space. But collecting this information would help determine the trajectory of the captain's bridge, which in turn will determine the coordinates of its collision with the liner. The technology of opening the back panel of Breath Edge, you're doing great! You're almost there! A small intact spare oxygen cylinder. You can make a blueprint of the real small oxygen cylinder, which is forbidden to be installed on any non-state suits, including Breath Edge Company funeral suits. Come on, just a little more. Do it before you realize that these mechanics just artificially prolong the gameplay.
part of the Breath Edge storage. There are only some empty coffins here. You can even choose one for yourself if you want to. This is a non-standard modification. Looks like somebody probably wanted to improve the speed characteristics of this coffin, which is a direct violation of the contract, although the idea is implemented quite well. Data acquired, but its analysis will take about three days. Ah, uh, nope, three seconds are enough. Apparently, the captain's bridge damaged the tank with mayonnaise on the port side of the liner. The mayo got pulled into the core's gravitational field, which increased its mass and decreased its activity. Bombarding the core with other similar debris may lead to a further decrease in its activity, probably. What's left to do is to find something with similar properties to mayo and not kill yourself with such experiments. Seems like the liner's bridge will be falling apart. We need to hurry. In this regard, I will calibrate the radiation sensors a bit. You'll be able to get much closer to the liner, and we'll assume that you are not exposed to radiation at all. Such tubes are usually installed in the liner's service modules, where they cut down expenses on artificial gravitation. Speaking of Normandy, your interlocutor has already mentioned this shuttle with survivors. It would be nice to find out where you actually destroy it. I will mark several interesting places that I found through the COPPA notification system. If you want to open more coffins, there's a chance that I'll be able to detect new, potentially useful debris, while my anti-vandal program scares you with criminal liability. Thanks to your torture, I violated not only the Breath Edge Data Protection Protocol, but also entirely by accident. I repeat, entirely by accident. Cracked the data block, which I had insufficient privileges to access. From the information gathered, I can conclude that the agency coffins not only transmit information about obstacles, but also exchange strange encrypted data packets. Unfortunately, even when threatened with a drill, I wouldn't have enough power to decrypt it. You would need some military equipment here.
Auto cleaners. I always thought of them as useless equipment, but seeing the size of this ball of debris they managed to roll, it makes me start to respect them. The trash ball mostly consists of electrical tape. Such supplies of electrical tape suggest that engineers doubted the durability of the liner. Judging by the steady melting of the rolls, there was a fire in the engineering modules, but it definitely was not the cause of the disaster. This is working autonomous oxygen station. Interesting design. The wiring scheme to the steering wheel are even less complicated than in the pleasure ships. You can connect an oxygen station here if I've understood the blueprint correctly. Apparently, there was a survivor here, temporarily. During the explosion of the bridge, I managed to take measurements of your body to order a coffin, but it didn't come in handy after all. I'd like to note, you're in great shape, keep it up, you're almost not so fat. Something was being assembled here. A miracle of engineering. This vacuum cleaner flew fast, but not for too long. Unfortunately, the skillful engineer turned out to be a less... A real engineer can repair even their underwear. Hope these antennas are spares and communications can work without them. Judging by the number of antennas, this is either a communication point or a communication point from another side of the liner. In any case, there's a chance to find Normandy and the other survivors. Looks like someone tried to get inside the module using the shuttle as a battering ram. By the way, did you know that originally the head with some battering ram was carved in the shape of a ram? That's an interesting fact. The chance of injuring yourself with the electrical tape is 46%, which makes the dispenser the safest tool for useless construction and wasting your time. Remember not to put the loose end of the electrical tape down your throat. The pilot entered the module. Well, partly. At any rate, his brains are scattered all over the corridor, and they most likely got into the vent and activated the airlock pressurization protocol. You need to find another airlock to get inside.
service airlock. To be more precise, this was the service airlock. Unfortunately, now it's gone. But if you scan how its system works and get the necessary tools, we could try to repair it to depressurize the doors. Some more evidence of the fire in the modules. Apparently, the fire had spread even to the habitation modules. Almost perfect. However, your biometric data sh almost perfect. However, your biometric data shows a fit of acute frustration with the visual implementation of the construction system that doesn't match the given developer's promises and screenshots. The Breath Edge agency is trying to take care of its customers' mental health, therefore I have to start stimulating your brain to create visual hallucinations. Your construction system looks more attractive now, but there may be some side effects that are not worth paying attention to. need to find the central interphone. If there's anything left undamaged there and you don't try fixing it, then we have a chance. Try to unclog the ventilation. I was correct. The brain clogged the ventilation. Now the security system should shut down, which will allow you to unlock the door manually from inside. A detailed plan of the service module. If you find some missing information, you can create such a module yourself. Who knows for what purpose? Seems like during the crash, they smashed their heads against the console, which now appears to be non-functional. It's a shame that airbags are not provided in spaceships. The observation post was broken before the crash. All the records are missing. Looks like a diversion. The interphone is out of order, which is to be expected from a commonplace indie video game where the main gameplay is based on... Oh, wait! It actually is in order. However, communications are down and the antenna needs to be fixed. Again. You need a special pass, which is issued only to employees of the liner. The antenna miraculously remained intact. You may start debugging, but where's the antenna? I wanted to use the audio file from the first chapter to reduce the cost of development. Looks like it wasn't the antenna that caused the problem, but these broken wires. You need to deal with it. It's too stupid, even for green universe radicals. I don't think it'll help. I 
I don't think it'll help. I don't think it'll help. The broken wires problem is solved. Try to catch a signal from Normandy. They are alive. Even with a serious decrease in the core's activity, it still must be extremely uncomfortable there. Have you ever heard of cannibalism among astronauts? Even if you take into account your excessive consumption of water and food, resorting to this would not be easy. Interesting design. I'm not sure about its initial purpose, but we can secure the plating with it. Multiple electromagnetic anomalies detected. There may be some breakdowns of the work of complex equipment in this area, therefore the Breath Edge Company assumes no responsibility for the behavior and performance of the Buterary spacesuit, although I doubt I may have any problems. Horse. Turbines of this size and design were usually installed in old space stations. I will mark it. Children again. Of course, I hope they manage to escape through this jam-smeared hole. There's an engineering shuttle ahead. I wonder how you find everything so quickly. Is it because of my hints? Apparently, he died in comfort and without fear. Maybe you could assemble such a bench as well. The disaster probably killed the owner before they completed their pursuit of fashion.
Why do you need a new spacesuit? I'm better than any new spacesuit. I recommend just upgrading the current equipment. For example, paint the helmet. I'm sure it will help. I will mark it. Something exploded here, probably. Such large windows could only be in the five-star modules of the liner. It seems that rich passengers consider a great view to be more important than safety. These look like tail sections. There are declared cargo holds inside for transporting synthetic beef, milk, and plant food. There might be something useful here. A modern space greenhouse. It's this type of fuel can't be synthesized without a living synthetic cow, not even with electrical tape. Please be careful with artificial beef. This product explodes more often than it's eaten by normal people. Unfortunately, it's impossible to get the pieces of fur out of here. Therefore, on behalf of the Breath Edge Funeral Agency, I don't recommend eating this.
Looks like an undamaged cargo section with dairy products. Special containers with cooling gel are used for transporting milk. The gel is ideal for reducing the core's activity. What's left to do is to find the emergency unloading lever, get inside the section, pump out the cooling gel, and launch it into the liner. Piece of cake! A fully functional farm for synthesizing beef. However, the declaration mentions only the transportation of goods. There is no data about any research conducted on the liner unnamed, but it seems that apart from transporting food, they also did some biological experiments in these sections. Synthetic cows don't quite need any eyes. Well, they themselves aren't needed much. However, their creation led to a breakthrough in the field of prosthetics, which recouped the expenses for this stupid idea. You won't be able to eat this until you remove the bioglue. Bioglue is the basis of a synthetic organism. The composition is too complex for homebrew reproduction. Biologists tried to make synthetic cows adaptable to independent growth and grazing, and therefore jelly-like specimens without any bone structure did not do well. Probably they fed synthetic cows with it. Attention Smuggler! Despite the FDA's requirements of using only synthetic meat products, its composition says natural meat, but doesn't state what kind of meat exactly. It's better not to analyze it. Someone has done a tremendous job on comparing two identical objects. Was the flight of the world's largest liner that boring? Apparently, someone tried to make a cryo chamber out of it to wait for the rescuers. Someone has clearly read a lot of science fiction books.
These engines are obsolete. I don't know where they're from, but their combustion system would be perfect for a miniature accelerator. doors are locked. These locks can only be opened with a special tool from outside. Or, alternatively, they can be broken. You are good at doing that. You must unlock the doors.
It's strange that this section is protective of weapons, seeing that the dairy products don't cost much. Stop! Judging by the signal, there's an anti-asteroid turret nearby. I hope you don't look much like an asteroid, but it's recommended that you stay away from the guns. These turrets can attack a large moving object without even knowing how valuable the spacesuit on this object is. I will mark it. Looks like some storage for beef fuel pellets. They don't make these nowadays. A container for transporting beef. Its casing is loaded, which indicates possible damage to its contents due to bad transport conditions. I don't recommend approaching such containers because of their possible explosion.
It worked. Now you have to find the airlock. This is definitely not a cargo section, despite it looking like one in the mark in the liner's declaration. Somebody wanted to keep the room secret. A laboratory with the most advanced equipment. Individuals don't have access to such technologies. Looks like some data blocks. Connect me to one of them and I'll try to find out if there's any cooling... Interesting. There's no cooling circuit here, which means the gel can only be present in the solution itself that is poured into the capsules. The full composition of the solution is encrypted, but we can pump it out using the control post and analyze it manually. <sighs> Some mutated chicken DNA is being Class A biological experiments are prohibited on the surface of inhabited planets, on their satellites, as well as within a radius of 500,000 kilometers from any inhabited objects. The liner does not fall under this prohibition while it's in outer space. A detailed plan of the transport module. According to these documents, the laboratory must be sponsored somehow, and that probably... This is not just an underground laboratory, but a government scientific complex for growing synthetic animal hybrid species. Such experiments are extremely dangerous due to the inability to control some mutations. On behalf of the Breath Edge Company, I would not recommend crossfeeding chickens with cows. The color green perfectly calms the nervous system, relieves tension, and normalizes blood pressure. Not in all cases, though. Something tore him apart from the inside. Even trash cans can be luxury ones, but this is not one of them. According to the plan, this is not only the main control post, but also the steering wheel. This section is a space- I've downloaded the manual. To clean the specimen capsules, press the blue button. Or the green one. Unfortunately, the manual is black and white. Something's wrong. I would suggest ignoring what happened. If these specimens end up on some planet and remain intact, then politicians will come up with some story about a super intelligent race that created these creatures to destroy mankind. Press the green button. As I thought, the capsules didn't contain all of the solution. Pumping out from the reserve tanks initiated. The most common way to use a desktop aquarium is space. According to statistics, every second surveyed man longs to go in a normal toilet for the opportunity of seeing the size of his organic product. There's no cooling gel here, but the solution contains potassium iodide, cystamine, ondansetron, and some non-standard impurities. Theoretically, it can serve as excellent anti-radiation protection. Just put the solution into the insulin cell of the suit, and I'll calculate the dosage so you don't turn into a vegetable or a mutant cow.
your protection against radiation has increased. You didn't even have to launch anything into the core, risking the start of an uncontrolled reaction of matter explosion. Although it would have been right to launch this laboratory together with all of its dangerous research. I wonder, am I the only one who is confused about the fact that these specimens have chicken genes? Many blueprints specify chickens to be the main catalyst for mutations. You even have an immortal chicken in your backpack, don't you? place, but maybe we can find something useful here. may come in handy if you calibrate it correctly. The radiation level is much lower. That's great. I'll give you directions. Fly to the left. Or to be more precise, to the right. Your other right, which is at the top. Okay, that was a bad idea. <laughs> 